Hello, my lovely Cancerians. How are you, loves? Welcome to Mercury retrograde reading. And consider this as a special reading since it's been requested one. Let's see, loves, what we have. This Mercury retrograde starts on April 21st and will end on May 14th till 15th. Goodness, I'm bubbling since this is the first day of Mercury retrograde. I'm recording this. Seems quite a lot, loves. So let's see here. Mercury retrograde stations into Taurus energy. And Taurus really speaks about, you know, the relationships we have with ourselves, with our peers, love-wise, with our career, with our finances, and so on. Many, many of you Cancerians, the message I have for you right away is this Mercury retrograde, many of you, you will see who is your friend and who is not your friend. For some of you, there is a specific person in your life who you definitely consider the one of the besties, you know, but this Mercury retrograde will show their true face. We call them kind of a frenemy. You know from friend and enemies so be very careful out there especially for some of you who are resonate with this and for many many of you take it as slow as my go to a big argument here with someone so definitely here Mercury retrograde in Taurus speaks about slow down when you need it. But let's see here, Tarot wise, we have King of Combs. Look at you, Justice, the Empress, Four of Wands, and the Temperance. Yes, it's kind of like where is balance, there is home. The first card we have, look at this five of wands. That's what I'm speaking here. Three of pentacles. For some of you, it could be a work-wise energy here that might not go the way you feel it's good. Because definitely, I feel also for some of you, somebody here might feel like you, you are either paid too much, either you are overly sympathized by your boss or by someone. Definitely, I'm speaking here with a Cancer who looks great. Don't get me wrong. Everybody can look great. But, you know, the, um, that common sense is not having, not everyone can have it. So for some of you, there is someone here around you or around your work environment that you, you might not want to be around them as much or you might not want to keep them closer, okay? Because definitely I see here some kind of argument that later you might be kind of like, why I did lower myself so much or why I did put with that kind of a thing because somebody here is just kind of like, doesn't, will not really care. That's why I say this Mercury retrograde, the most important message for you, you will know who are your people and who are not, who is your friend and who is not. Okay, so speaking about real friends, real people out there. The five of wands here, clarifier, knight of pentacles. So definitely here, whatever it is, take it slow because someone here might say you one thing, they might mean in a whole different lot of things. Look at this fives. The only five, it's five of swords. And five of swords speaks about selfishness energy. Somebody here is like for selfish reasons, they want certain things. And they might bring certain things here just because works for them, not for you. So that's why be very careful. What are you put up to and who you put up to six of wands because this person definitely here wants to to get something from you it's like somebody here you know i 
you know, I never try to make fun of anyone and I never take for granted any things. But somebody here acts in a way to get something, you know. For example, somebody here might act poor just to get your money so that they can get more. But they are not poor. Or somebody here might feel like, oh, you know, I'm sick and you gotta do this and do this and and they are not sick. It's kind of something here to benefit them. So be very, very much aware of that. The, the Five of Cups here, Page of Pentacles. They might later might say, I'm sorry and things like that. I never mean that, you know. This kind of people be be very be very much this kind of I, I will give you back and so and so. Queen of Wands, Ten of Cups, Page of Wands, Ten of Wands. It's kind of like you look at this tense here. The only one is Ten of Swords, so don't let to get stabbed in the back by someone here. Because I definitely see here a step back here as well. The Ten of Swords is the one missing. So you, it's like something here didn't work the way someone planned or is planning because you know who you are. The Seven of Swords here, Nine of Cups, yes, Chariot, there's something definitely might not go the way someone here try to because the blowout it's it's in their face okay eight of pentacles so whatever here they try to do behind your back didn't really work out or is not gonna work out so whomever is this person or this friend of yours or whoever you are dealing is like they they tried it's okay but i definitely see here that something doesn't go their way and you will see it very soon so keep yourself in a balanced way and do you because you know better I also see here Leo energy very strong, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Libra. For some of you, it could be another water sign, Scorpio or uh, Cancerian. The, the message from Spirit, Nine of Pentacles, be confident in your actions, in whatever you do. Don't even doubt. And don't be afraid to make certain moves. Because they are definitely right moves. Look at this. Your way or no way. For some of you, you have your moon in Aries. For some of you, you need to act like an Aries. When I say act like an Aries is kind of like your way or no way. Don't allow everything and anything to step on you. The other thing here, you know, Cancerian, Mars is in your zodiac sign. And Mars is the ruler of the, the emperor, the, um, the Aries. So act accordingly, loves. And stand up for yourself. Do you? I feel here there is something here that it's kind of walking away at the right time will save you from some kind of hardship. Look at this four of swords and the six of swords. It's kind of like you either put up and get bite by or either you are moving along and get happy and better. Because I feel here there's something here you you definitely can prevent. And I feel here you you don't need to put up with something that you don't know entirely. Because moon, yes, is your is your car, but at the same time moon speaks of 
You know what you know and you know what you don't know. So it's better to go ahead with certain things that you definitely feel are right for you. Because I feel here there's certain things here will move fast for you instead of waiting for certain things to come to you. You know, there's an energy sometimes when we are letting go certain things, it's better for us, for growth, for movement, than holding on them. Sometimes holding on, feeling there is essential stuff or feeling that they are good things, they end up that they are not really important things. So don't hold on anything that is not important for now and for later. It's kind of detaching from whatever it is will bring you more movement than you can even think is. Look at this. See your seeds grow. You know where you are. You know where you're going. And yes, this springtime is your time to go forward. Because I definitely see here, staying in your energy, in your balance energy, you get much more. So move beyond whatever here you, you feel you are. It's kind of you are more than you think or someone think you are. Moon, take the intuitive messages. The, the full moon in Scorpio also will bring you much more. So protect yourself with the good energies. Surround yourself with protective energy loves. Definitely you might need it. And take time to reflect. The mirror guardian. Take time to reflect what is worth and what is not worth. So lovely Cancerians, that's what I have for you for um, this Mercury retrograde. These are the messages that are coming in through and they're coming strong. If this really helps you, let us know. And we'll see you next time. Namaste.